Clonakilty is considered by many to be the music capital of West Cork, and at the centre of this is De Barra's Folk Club. One of its most famous denizens is Noel Redding, the bass player in the Jimi Hendrix Experience. Noel died at the age of 57 in 2003 with his last LP unfinished. This has now been completed for release by local friends and musicians. I met some of these and began by asking drummer Les Sampson about meeting Noel as a young man in England. He'd asked a, a friend of ours who was looking after the band at the time if we could meet up. So we went and had a beer and this Honda 50 pulled up with this flowered trousers and massive hair and all that. And it was Noel. You know, the whole Hendrix experience thing looked so different from everybody else. They were very on the edge of uh, a new era at the time. Noel became incredibly famous with Jimi Hendrix, but years of touring took its toll and he split from the band. With his girlfriend Carol and drummer Les, he headed back across the Atlantic. Eric Bell, Thin Lizzy guitarist and collaborator with Noel, takes up the story. He was living in um, Los Angeles with Carol. Yeah. Um, and I think he had just finished with Fat Mattress, as far as I know. And he said it was insane, that, that, like Los Angeles, that the parties were just, you know, and they had to get out. And uh, he said one night him and Carol got the map of the world and hold, held hands and did this, shut their eyes and landed <laughs> on Clonic Kilty. You have to understand that at the time he was so famous, he couldn't go anywhere. The big joke was that you'd be walking through the Agobi Desert and someone would go up and say, hey, aren't you, uh, you know, yeah. we'd always laugh about that, but it was true. Hollywood one minute, another plane ride, and we're in Dan's cottage in Ross Garbury. There's a light in the wind. Noel eventually bought Dunon House near Ardfield and settled down to write and play music with Carol and a burgeoning group of local musicians. I met up with Olive Finn, whose father owned a pub on the main street where they'd often gathered to play. I remember one time Dave Clark and Les and Eric, and those two other three, I can't remember the other musicians, but they just set up in the tiny back room in my father's pub with amplification. I mean, the local, the customers were just going, my God, and the noise and... Like, I'll never forget that evening. I think there was a writer from Melody Maker there as well who, who wrote a big article about it in the paper at the time. So the excitement as a teenager you know, so it became normal for me to have that in my life. Clonakilty was like a black and white photograph before Nolan Carl came, and this kind of rainbow colour followed them through. But life at Dunone, whilst fun, was also tough. He lost Carol in a tragic car accident, his mother passed away, and money was also scarce. Which, in uh, experience, had a few bob, but nothing like... Uh, he should have had, you know, he missed out on all that. I remember one night coming home from a gig, and they picked up roadkill, picked up a rabbit that had been knocked down and they brought it home and Carl was going to cook it. You know, it was, it was hard. That battle was ongoing, you know, with the whole Hendrix estate and all that, but he never, he never, he never talked about it too much. It, was, it wasn't until after he died I read the book, Are You Experienced? I mean, I was there when they were writing. I was living in the cottage, which was attached to his own house. And I knew all about it, but he never harped on it too much. And it was afterwards I realised how sad his battles were, you know. There was a lot of battles in his life. Carl's death, obviously, was huge. huge. Yeah, huge hole in our lives after that. She's got Thank you, good night, and good luck is Noel's final musical message. Back. He started wanting to start playing and recording again, so it's when yeah. myself and Jeff got together, moved all our equipment into his um, living room. We used to just say, well, who, who do you fancy on this one, Noel? And he'd phone <laughs> up someone and get Eric in, wouldn't he? And yeah, that's he was going to get Jeff Beck to come over at some stage yeah. as well. Donovan, but out of that we ended up with an album's worth of material which has now taken 10 years to produce and this is a limited edition just as a tribute to our old friend basically. It's a long career Noel had, although he was never allowed to get out of his little bit with Hendrix, you know, there's all this association with him, but this really gives forth what he was about in the creative thing, his giving of music. You know, we're getting too deep, like we're all here for a short time and uh, it's, uh, I think it's amazing to, to have left your stamp on something, you know what I mean, a little bit of your, yourself. Child, love can't touch you at all.